Oh, back from a good day of idling. Finally, come back to my beautiful house. My beautiful. Mind it. Wait a second. Oh my god! No! 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 no. Ah! Run! Oh! It's, it's a head. Ah! No! Huh? Huh? Ah! Trick ya! Hey guys, Slabbath Game 1 here, and uh, I'm in my creative world, uh, of course. Uh, that's why I have all this badass food. Yeah, um, this is our just a little fall. I had um, sort of an example of what I will be doing in my world for FDB. Yeah, FDB, yay! I don't know if I said TIG before, I, I meant FDB. But yeah, uh, we run in here. And this is a idea I had. Um, in my single player world, I, I usually I, I have no I've only done this one other time in another world where it got deleted. And basically, what I will be doing in this world is a sort of like a cave, not like a cave, but like ah, uh, that's a cave. But it's like a huge, vast like, tunnel system that goes into different areas dedicated to certain mods and stuff. So, um, let's say my house is up there, my beautiful house that. I, I'm going to be remaking. Uh, I dig down like I don't know, like 20, 30 blocks, and I fall down and hit the sign with water. Pretty simple. And I walk out. It will be a lot better than this. I walk out, and then there's this beautiful. See this be uh, I'm gonna go and create it real quick. Uh, sorry if you see something right now. I am just moving my screen a little Uh, basically, this is what it will look like in the end. Something like this basic like diamond sort of shape except it has different choices of paths so basically it has one path this way for certain mods one path this way and one path this way and I've decorated it with certain mods and stuff and some books I've actually came out and written for all you guys just so I can read it to you so yeah um I'm just, oh gosh darn it gosh darn it man gosh darn it uh, it took me a fair bit to build this and some really good idea thinking for me this is not copied from anyone People probably have done this, but uh, something I didn't, I have not seen a tutorial on or anything. But basically, this whole area is going to be covered in like stone. It's going to be all composed in. And if you see in my mini map, this looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's what I was going for cool looking. So basically, okay, we're going to go in this corner. And this is the machines, really hardcore machines in this corner. So we're going to read a book. Uh, the machines, my happy ears are going. They're all the same book in this. So, okay, cool. The machine section. This section is all about machines, obviously. The mods area, I spelled area wrong, derp. Um, mods are IC2, Industrial Craft 2, uh, Thermal Expansion, and Applied Energistics. I haven't got to apply Energistics or Industrial Craft 2 in this series, but I will. And same with Thermal Expansion, I've barely gotten into that. But I will be getting into them shortly, as soon as this area is done, so I have a place to build all the cool stuff. So yeah, please leave a like, comment, and most important, subscribe if you want to see more. Please, 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 So, uh, let's just dump this back in there. Um, the side will be, I kept the redstone conduit, so I'm going to explain more later in the series. But, uh, this is a thermal expansion item, so this corner is going to be like a little pathway leading to like a big room for thermal expansion. Now the room, MFSUs, uh, for IC2, industrial graph 2, and there will be a big room for that. And, um, there's the thing, Tinker's Construct Smeltery, if you guys have never seen it. And here is Applied Air and I, this, this and Tinker's Construct, are the only two mods I don't know. I know very little about. Applied Energistics is the mod I don't know much about at all. So that's one of the few that I don't know about. But most of these I know thermal expansion IC2 really well. But yeah, let's move on. These are chandeliers. I don't know what mod these are from, but they're really cool. Same with these torches. These are from chandeliers. Also. So um, now we turn here, and this is some other mods. The other mods by the Uh, so open it up. <laughs> Some other mods. This is where some other mods will be. Will be, will be. Railcraft, uh, miscellaneous mods, any kind like, uh, there'll be Tinker's Construct, um, um, in Force Fields, all of those. Uh, and a bunch of others. And Thomcraft. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more from me. My face. Okay, so, where did I take this from? You. <gasps> Dang it, I'm gonna turn to these for first. Okay, where did I keep this from? Where did I keep it? So I need to show other people. 
Okay, so uh, this corner will be Railcraft. This is pre-sort oil that you need to make tracks. Railcraft is an awesome mod and I will be using it in the future. And I made a dedicated section just for this because there's a fair bit of stuff you need for this and it's a little bit of space consuming. So yeah, this side is going to be uh, thermo uh, thermo expansion. Thomcraft with all the candles and the magic and stuff. That's going to be something I'm going to be doing relatively soon. I first want to finish up this whole area and then I'll get the power and stuff. So it's gonna be building for the first few episodes. I probably and I, but I will show you some cool machines to help you like clear out areas. And here is Misk Mod. Misk Mod. Think Tinker's construct there will be actually a fair bit of space in there. Then there'll be MFE. MFE will be very little. And then other knickknacks like uh, computer craft and stuff. Computer craft I will be using. We'll be using it. And then for the wall design, the wall. I haven't shown you this yet. I'll show you that at the end. Uh, it's something I'll. We will be doing some stuff this episode, guys, in the actual world. But so this is basically, okay, I'm going to be using a lot of grass. So, okay, let's say this is the grass path, and then here's the fences. It's going to be sort of like this. There's going to be, at the end of each post, there'll be like these little logs, and there'll be water dripping. I've still not decided. The worst comes to worst, I'll just use stone, because stone actually looks pretty nice. And then at the edges of each of these, like the edge of this, edge of this, edge of this, will be uh, like a little pillar. So I think these look really nice, and if you guys can give me your feedback on these, uh, probably by the time you guys give me the feedback, it'll already be done. But uh, I think it'll look really nice, and it'll look really nice at the end. I've done a world just like this, and it look awesome. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that. That's okay. Um, so, now we move on to the area that is probably the most fun. Well, it's going to be the most resource conserved. Conserving, yeah, that's complete option. Resource using of this whole system. So let's go in here. Spawners. So basically, in this in this mod pack, they have mod soul shards. Soul shards is basically. I'll show you guys a little stuff of this. It's. Uh, I will be explaining a lot more of this. I'll just give you a quick synopsis of this. Uh, it's basically soul shards, soul shards, soul shards. And see, see, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, and tier five. Tier five is crazy. So basically, you start out with a normal soul shard, you have to make it. To make it, you need to do something like this. And I'll show you guys this right now, actually. But I'll show you guys later. But and some glowstone. Glowstone. And to make this, you're going to need one diamond. It used to be where it had like a special block where you had to smelt down soil sand and give you like soul dust. And then soul dust, you put it in like a soul forge, and it actually made uh, with one diamond, it'll make three of these soul shards. But now it's different. So now you have one, you have to take a diamond, diamond, diamond and you bake it like this. So, goes has to be in the middle. I will take this guy off. Don't worry. Another rack here, and then some here. I'm pretty sure it might have been surrounding it. But no, 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 I did it wrong. Completely wrong. Fool. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I am a such a fool. Okay, uh, uh then we're gonna move on to Endstone. I'm still working on the animation right now. I haven't had a chance because I haven't been able to download the software on my Mac because I'm really busy vacation stuff. Uh, but I will be coming back pretty soon and uploading more videos. So right now. So put the diamond. Diamond. Uh this is a derp. Oh man, I completely forgot how to make this. This, I think I'm gonna need this. I'm not sure though. I am completely not sure. No, 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 the one was in the middle. Maybe this. Okay, this thing, this pick is awesome. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh huh, uh huh. I think it might have been the way I thought it was. Too. Ooh, this isn't the way I thought it was, but I'll try it this way. And this pick is too good for glowstone mining. Oh my god. And I'll try it. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, it might have been the opposite. I'm such a derp. But this is an awesome mod, and I'll explain it right now, because I'm going to be failing a lot right now, I think. Or is it the same thing I just did? Nope, no, I did it differently. Uh, is this it? Yeah, that's what it does. That's how you make it. And then it turns everything into end stone, and you basically get yourself a soul shard. Okay, so it's a soul shard. Let's say, okay, you have to have it on your hot bar, first of all. And you have to get... You can, okay, so I'll tell them to it's pig. And you see, it went to pig tier zero. 
You have to get 64 kills, and then it becomes tier 1. And when it becomes, I'll just spawn in tier 1 real quick. Just to, it's sort of like a soul shard spotlight right now. Uh, I'll just do tier 2. I'll do tier 2 right now. I don't and make sure it's, uh, maybe we'll do sheep. So. And sheep. So when I, uh, to make this, you need a soul cage. Soul cage, this, and you can, and, uh, let's turn the soul cage. Let's turn this in there. That was a derp. I need to, I'll just spawn in one of them. And this. And people. And then you. This is a derp. I think this might be a texture bug. But it basically spawns into this and it becomes a spawner. Uh, and it starts spawning sheep a lot. See, it's another sheep spawn. Yeah, and sheep will spawn. Sheep will keep on spawning. Sheep will keep on spawning. Forever and ever and ever. And it makes a great spawner. So you can just keep on getting killed. And it works with every single mob in the game. You know what would be really funny? I think we should try this when we go to the end. Do an Ender Dragon one. That would be pretty cool. And I think everybody would be. Um, so yeah, uh, then I need to kill 64 Ender Dragons. Maybe I'll spawn in one just to see who that is. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's, that's how you make Soul Shard. Soul Shard is an awesome long one. But I cannot do it yet because I have to go to the end. And the end will happen after I get a power suit, which is going to be in a few episodes. After this basic cave is done, not all the tunnels. Are. So now let's move on to the spawn. Do I have the book in my hand, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I was reading it. Continue. The spawners. This is an area where all of the spawners will be kept. There will be a tube of cyan warded stone, and we'll have tracks that will take you around 100 to 200 blocks away from the spawn into the spawner chamber. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more of this series. Yeah, don't forget about that. And also, so basically. Warded stone. You guys are probably wondering if you don't know anything about really mods or anything about Thomcraft. What the hell is warded stone? What the hell is warded stone? Warded stone is another thing you can craft in Thomcraft. It's fairly expensive, truthfully. I can't show you your recipe because you have to research it. And I'll explain more about Thomcraft later. If you really want to know it that bad, just search it up on the internet. There's tons of tutorials. Direwolf20 has done one. Watch that. That's how I learned Thomcraft. But warded stone looks amazing. And there, there's also warded glass, which is awesome. I was experimenting with some like molten obsidian here, and it actually looks okay, but I want to stick with just the same old normal field without the glass, just like that. And they'll use rail tracks of like 200 blocks away, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what this base will hopefully look like. Really hoping it. And uh, hopefully you guys like this like this uh, sort of thing. And I really do. So, yeah, let's jump back, back into Mario. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. Oh, World. Oh, so yeah, we are back. Let's try to keep mode because we're just playing it. Must be Get beautiful. Uh, got some speed. I've been brewing up some potions. I died right here. I jumped from. I was building something with power here and I accidentally fell off and I died. Yeah. Okay. So raspberries. I I move my whole base from there. I guess probably what the hell is this? You move my whole base from my home. Okay, well, not all the items we transport over here. And basically, you guys missed so much. I, I didn't record the Dumbo, but um, this is an Extreme Hills biome, if you guys can't tell. Uh, very sweet, kind of small Extreme Hills biome. And over there, I found some more berries. Uh, to be exact, the Mayo berries. Mallow berries. And I planted those with my blackberries and stuff. There we go. I swear I saw a creeper. Yep, there he is. There's my best friend. Uh, 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 don't you... Damn it, why? So, yeah, this is my base again. Yeah, my base. This is the second time I've died in the past, like, week. In the past, like three or four hours. So, yeah, I, I saw Extreme in Hills Biome over there. Actually, just give me... Okay, this, I saw an Extreme Hills Biome over there. And I'm like, whoa, that'll be a great place to start up this cave. Because I actually... You guys probably think this is so weird, but... You can find ideas for Minecraft anywhere. I actually had the idea of this little cave thing, but I didn't come up with like an area and sort of idea for it until I was I was having a shower and I thought of it and I was really thinking about it really hard in the shower. Yeah, I was really weird and I and I figured out the idea and I thought it was really cool. So yeah, um, there is. Uh, I will be doing some more commentaries. I don't know if Noah's going to be part of these commentaries because it's, like. If, uh, another a friend of my, uh, another some of my friends who are actually have YouTube channels other than mine. No, like, uh, no, no, he's not like a co-owner, but he's he's uh, 
I'm the main guy. He's like the side guy. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'll be uploading more TF2. If you guys haven't checked it out, a lot of you guys are fans of TF2, so I will be uploading that more. But uh, my few of my friends, my friends from school, and also uh, some other friends of mine, who uh, actually decided, hey, hey, you should try to feed the beast. And they've sort of ever since I started this channel saying, hey, make a feed the beast, make a feed the beast. And I was kind of too lazy to make one. It wasn't like I didn't want to. I love. I would love to, but I was just kind of lazy. So I guess the thing was I didn't want to. But eh. So I decided to finally make one, and it turned out pretty okay. So let's get back to the feed the beast tutorial stuff. Um. So basically, I started out with the extreme hills biome idea, and uh, yeah, I told you I found it in the shower and found everything, and yeah. Uh, moved a bunch of stuff over here. Moved a bunch, bunch, bunch of stuff. I have a bunch of stuff over here. Stuff over here. I'll tell you some knickknacks right now. This is all some thermal expansion goodies. And I will be using every single one of these pretty soon, pretty soon, because I'm going to need it for a lot of machines I want to use. Magma Crucible, how to make it. Awesome. Liquid Tesseract, how to make it. How to make it. Liquid Transposer, how to make it. Sawmill, how to make it. Induction Smelter, how to make it. And this is, I'll explain a little bit more later. Uh, it's basically, those things do a lot of different things, and they're really useful for making things. A lot of uh, important things. So basically, the main power, basic power pipe is the Balecraft uh, Golden Conductive Power Pipes. And I want to make something, because they lose a lot of energy through transportation, a lot. But I want to make something that's really efficient. So I wanted to, I, you need to get Redstone Energy Conduit. You guys are probably thinking, whoa, that's really, really expensive. It is pretty expensive. You need a liquid transposer, which you're going to need a base empty frame for. An empty frame requires electrum ingots, which is pretty easy to make. You just need a, you just need to smelt up some electrum blend, and electrum blend blend is basically pulverized silver and pulverized gold combined. It's not that bad. Electrum. I have a fair bit of it right now. Um, hardened glass is the thing. You need induction smelter. You're gonna need pulverized obsidian and lead ingot. Lead ingots. Uh, you, uh, you can find them in the wild. I have all of it set up. I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm setting up my temporary home. And the home is going to have a hole. And that's when it's going to fall down into the cave. The cave is going to be around... <laughs> probably... Actually, let me check this out. Oh, wow. I thought he would die there, but probably... Maybe I'm going to uh, need to think about it. So I might have to put... It, I'm probably going to put it in the corner. Then I'll have, like, a little jaw bridge from here over here. And maybe I'll have, like, a cool house over there. I enchanted a shovel and I got a... Awesome enchant, uh, efficiency power, unbreaking one, and silk touch one. I just wanted to enchant one because I needed, and I was really hoping for silk touch, and I got an awesome enchant, and I also needed uh, efficiency picks to clear out a lot of area fast and unbreaking also. So I got everything I wanted, which was awesome. And I needed the silk touch mainly because of the grass. I'm gonna need a lot of grass. A lot. I'm gonna need, I counted a little bit of it, and it's probably around, around, with, with the amount I'm using, probably around like four to five stacks around, probably a little bit less, but it's going to require a fair bit of grass, and you always want to have extra, you always want to have extra and feed the beast. That's one thing I go for, in vanilla, it's okay, but in feed the beast, I want every item, like, pretty much every item in the game, I just want it, I want it so bad. That's why I love feed the beast, you, can, you, you can't, you have the possibility of getting pretty much every item in the game, except the ones that are creatively small. Even in vanilla you do, but you don't have as much, like, vanilla is more about building, this is more about efficiency. At least a lot of feed stuff. So, and all you guys who love vanilla, I know I'm not hating on vanilla or anything, it's okay, I love vanilla too. Okay. So, thinking about it, I think I'm gonna keep it. I like, I like, I'm gonna do some building on camera. I think this is one of the few times I've actually done building on camera. Which isn't surprising too much, but I... I truthfully don't like building. I, I like it, but sometimes my ideas just get really clogged up. And I like thinking like when I when I build stuff, I like 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 chewing gum, listening to music. That's how I come up with ideas really fast. And yeah, it's just, it's just me. I, I understand other people. Okay, let's see. But when I have like an idea base print in my head, I, I can build on camera. But when I'm creating something like completely fresh off the bat like this, it's just like. Well, this isn't fresh off the bat. Everybody's got it, but like, like on cave, it's it's gonna be kind of hard. I will build it on camera, a fair bit of on camera, like some of the clearing out I might not do, but I will show a machine that will. Do. And you guys should stay tuned for that. That is a pretty cool machine. And it's for build craft. 
You will need a fair a little bit of power, but I don't worry about me. I'll I'll be idling on all night. One well, cash down. Uh, I probably will just I'll show you it, but I might not use it because I don't have that much power. So um hmm. let's run back there with just use the speed two person. Let's run back there. I just want to check out the roof real quick. And uh yeah, let's get some raspberries, stump some stuff in there. Barrels are awesome. They're one of my most favorite parts of Forge. And we will also be getting into bees soon. Bees, 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 bees. And I think forestry also added, I don't know if forestry added it, and someone added it in. Oh, that's my friend. He's a really nice, really awesome guy. Doing a lot of, actually, I didn't I didn't even tell you guys the name. Uh, one of them, uh, Sheep Lord. Uh, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. I still have to text him about that, but a uh, few of my, uh, DJ Danny Kid, check him out. Uh, hopefully I'll have him in the description. He is awesome. Uh, he is one of, one of my really close friends. Uh, me and him, pfft, like, we're really close. We're like no one close. But yeah, it's really fun for me and him. And since he has a YouTube channel, me and him do dual commentaries. He plays Minecraft and Skyrim and games like that. And I'm really into that. So yeah, we'll be doing some more in the future. But uh, some Feed the Beast also with uh, him. I'm waiting for him to upload a server though. So yeah, uh, what did I come here for? Check out the roof. Oh, I just used plain glass. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand what I need to do. Well, while they're here, we might as well just take some stuff. Uh, this is for the smart area. We'll be doing that hopefully next time. Like, I don't want to do it just because I'm going to be making this cave. And I don't want to really go in too much fuel efficiency right now. I just want to finish off the cave, get the area set out, and then I'll start doing a lot more machine stuff. Like, the beginning's always building. When I have my whole base set up, I usually just go berserks. I just go machine, machine, machine. That's why I'm probably going to be battling the Ender Dragon. Because the Ender Dragon, I'm probably going to wait till I have it. Uh, man, I have so much to do in this world. That's what I love about Feelies. You always pretty much have something to do. It's like, you're never ending. And if you run out of things to do, you like have a memory lock, you don't want to you know, run out of things, beat the Ender Dragon. Every pretty much spawner in the game, and you're kind of bored of it, you can always just start a fresh new world, and that's it. That's what I love about Minecraft. You can just be, when you're done with the world, you're done with it, you can just move on. That's what I love about Minecraft. And feed the beast in general. Feed the beast. Vanilla, I can understand why you can get bored of it. Like, not fast, but like, like if you're not, if you're playing single player, you can get bored of it a little bit quicker than most things. Like, unless you have a lot of projects to do. Like a lot of YouTubers do, like Eco, he has a lot of projects at hand, so he always has something to do. But in Feed the Beast, you always pretty much have something to do. You can have like, there are so many bees to breed, you can just be a berserk, so oh, man. That's why I love Feed the Beast, and I like playing solo Feed the Beast also. Like single player, uh, multiplayer, if you're on with friends, like three or four players, yeah, then you can play. But you can play either way, but on, usually on like servers, most of the ores have been, like popular servers, most of the ores have been mined. It's like not as fun. Unless you're playing with friends, like me and you Noah, know, let's build. That's that's fun. Uh, so, do I have my glass on me? I do, but I will probably need more, much more. Um, yeah, I will need a lot more glass. I'll probably need like two stacks. <sighs> yeah, but. If you're playing Feed the Beast, my recommendation is that if you want to play SMP, I suggest playing it with your friends, or one of your friends just go forward to make a server, and I suggest playing on that. Because that'll be a lot more fun for you guys, you can adventure together, you can make machines together, it's a lot more fun and entertaining. But if you do it like a whole like 300, 400 people, it, like I'm not going to say it's get boring, it will not get like boring, but it's like it's more fun playing with your friends and strangers in my opinion i'm just saying i just broke glass Urgh, agonizing that sucks i need one more piece and i would finish the thing um but it's true play on my part and more fun playing with your friends and with random strangers uh i don't know if that i just read the giant squeal i don't know i think that might have been on my side fudge I'm so used to feather falling for and never dying. Ugh. I miss my quantum armor. I miss my quantum armor. Especially when I play Feed the Beast, I miss my quantum armor like that. But, uh, I guess what? Uh, my god. Two deaths this episode. Are you kidding me? Is it a joke? Ugh. This episode's running actually a little bit long. Like 25 minutes almost. Ooh. It's 
a long episode I've done a few of these yet, but you know what? I'm building some stuff and never get bored. And I like staying telling stories on this, so yeah. But hopefully this VDB series will continue. I won't get bored of it. Let's build. That's a vanilla SMP might be going away. It might be, I don't know. It's like a lot of people don't want us to play it. It's just like I guess we could, but we'll probably do it when we have like we I really don't want to like uh like I, I kind of don't want it, and it's just like it's more of a fun thing, and I don't want to like record. I get lazy. I like doing single player stuff more. I will have an SMP though, like, of course I'll have an SMP, but like SMP, like I'll have it eventually. But as soon as I grow my Minecraft community, that's the thing. I have a truly I have a main TFT community right now, and I know Minecraft is either like, one of my lowest speed series, and I really try and bring out a lot of TFT, but I also want to bring out Minecraft and stuff. But yeah, I came out here for stream. So, no, why would I shoot stream? Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna get left. Oh, uh, I think the video might have been really laggy this whole time. I'm really sorry if it, it didn't kill any lag on my stream. So yeah, yeah, I'll check it out and see if it's good or not. But, yeah, I'm probably going to end the episode here, so that's nothing up in the sand. But, let's build, might not continue. Uh, Feed the Beast, hopefully will. Haven't uploaded the episode yet, but I uh, hopefully will continue. Battlefield, the biggest FPS ever for me. One of my most, is one of my most favorite games of all time. Battlefield 4, prepare for Battlefield 4. It's actually pretty successful, like 20, 25 views, and people are actually... Sending me messages saying, yo, check out my video, check out my video on Battlefield 4, and I'm like, yeah, 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 sure, I will. And I always do, and it's like, it's like, <laughs> I love that when you see, you hear, you get like replies from fans saying what they want, what you want. And I will, you know, if me, as a person, I will deliver. And I hope you guys stick around for that. But you have to Battlefield, and if you guys are interested in any other games, please tell me, I will be happily willing to go and get them. It's just like, if you want Splinter Cell, maybe... I don't know, whatever you guys want, man. it's all about you. I will happily do it. It's like, you want another giveaway? I, I am in using another giveaway, so it's But yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, this project going to take around, I'm going to say, two to three episodes. Two to three episodes. The entire amount of it. Three, two to three episodes. Maybe even four. I don't know. But yeah, guys, this is what I'm going to want to sign off. Nah. In vacation. Five. No, I see what? Oh, yeah. Bye.